So these were dirt cheap. Um, I don't, I think I paid like $2 for the whole thing. Maybe, um, a whole bunch of 455 kilohertz resonators and 455 kilohertz filters. And so, uh, this is what the resonator looks like. It's just a two pin device and it's a little, uh, um, yellow plastic piece. It's marked uh, Y455E. And uh, let's go ahead and put it on the uh, VNA and sweep it out. And it looks just like a crystal. It has uh, a uh, series peak and a, a parallel peak, a parallel resonance, series resonance. And yeah, it looks just like a crystal. So, uh, but these are ceramic. These are not uh, um, quartz. These are made of ceramic. But I've never opened one up before. So uh, the little piece of plastic, I was able to sort of cut it at the edges and peel it back. And there was a little metal um, contact uh, on one of the pins, just like the old style crystals, um, whereas there was, there was two pins and two metal contacts, and then this sheet of quartz slid down and made contact to those two pieces of metal. Well, it's the exact same construction. And the little uh, element in the middle, instead of being a piece of quartz that's metalized on two sides, it's just a piece of ceramic that's metalized on both pieces. So, yeah, it looks to me just like it's like crystalline ceramic somehow. I don't know how you make crystalline ceramic, but um, that's what it looks like to me. And then they just grind it to frequency and um, plate both sides with metal and shove it in a little thing here. And then they put a little blob of glue at the or you know fill it up with epoxy or something at the bottom just to seal it from from moisture and stuff but yeah that's what it is inside so the other one here is an lt 455 ew and this is the filter if you turn it over you see that it's five pins um and three of the pins are ground and the other two pins are input output so it looks like a filter um it uh, is centered at 455, and um, the spec sheet says it has a uh, 15 kilohertz uh, bandwidth, and that's about right here. Um, it's measured at a 60B point. This one looks like it might be a little wider than 16, but I would say maybe, I mean, a 15, I would say maybe 16, 17. But anyway, it's a really nice filter. It's very, very clean looking. So if you peel off the sides of that, you basically see the exact same construction. There's a metal context and then these slabs of um, metalized ceramics slid in there. Now this one has three of them. So it has uh, three uh, resonators and then sandwiched in between are capacitors. Um, so it looks very much like a filter, you know, it's, it's a, a crystal capacitor, crystal capacitor, capacitor ground, right? Crystal, then capacitor ground, then crystal, then capacitor ground, then capacitor ground so that's why it's got the uh, the three legs on it they all have to be grounded those three legs and then the other two are input output and uh, if you keep peeling it open you can kind of see the construction there's uh the big slabs of um, ceramic that come out and then there's these little tiny dielectric spacers and then this piece of metal that's folded over the uh, other three legs so the, the three legs kind of end up being a big slab of metal and then the little contacts the little metal contacts that that make contact to the resonators uh kind of fold over a little piece of insulator and it acts like a it acts like a uh, capacitor so yeah it's uh pretty cool now i don't know what the little circles are i don't know how that works changing the frequency or response whatever but yeah the the slabs have different circles so i don't know somebody knows comment below Anyway, uh, it was really fun. I, I never saw inside one before. And I mean, it's not surprising after you open it up, but having, having never opened one up before, yeah, it is surprising.